seriously, why doesn't Nashter make itself a level five? Hey, are you busy? Do you want a duel? I'm really bored. You never ask me to duel. I would love to. I never ask because I never know how much space to give you after I beat you like a stepchild. <laughs> yes, because you've beat me in a duel before. Lest we forget the most epic duel of all time. We've got over this. That was a fluke and everyone knows it. <laughs> Everyone knows you're still salty. I'm not salty. What's salty is your deck. Why are there literal grains of salt in your deck? Are you back to keeping your cards in your pockets? Yes, I don't like to use deck boxes or bring a backpack. The more stuff you bring to a tournament, the more stuff can get stolen. You taught me that. You could just not pack as much in your bag? <laughs> and only pack one deck and one deck box at a time since you can only play one deck at a time anyways? And and why are your pockets so salty? That's where I keep my tacks. <laughs> okay, Napoleon. No one's gonna get that reference. Here's Napoleon. Oh. oh, I see. You're trying to distract me, but it's not going to work. Get your pathetic deck so I can destroy it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you, Eugene. Uh. What is that? My new deck box. You like it? I love it! And it's got my picture on it? Where did you get that? LDB Duel sent me a freebie like MetaMats does. <sighs> you get all the cool stuff. Oh, I give you free mats all the time. Pull out the last mat I gave you. <laughs> yeah, boobs. <laughs> but I want that deck box. Oh, so now you want a deck box. Yes, if I'm on it, I do. Okay. There you go. Really? Oh, cool. Thank you. This is awesome! That's me! I, I don't care for your picture, but man, that's me on here! Did you just trick me into using a deck box again? Yep. I hate you. That's too bad, because I love you. You guys know that Yuki Nono has two main sponsors for the channel? What? Yes, first off, there's MetaMats.com, made by us, designed by you, who makes the greatest mats in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! and they have since they've come out. We all know this. At least you should know this, because seriously, they were the first ones to start making color cloth play mats years and years and years ago. Me and MetaMats have been partners since they came out. Uh, they make just the best mats, right? And they make custom mats. And that was the whole gimmick, and that was the whole awesome thing, is that you could put whatever you want on a play mat, and MetaMats will make it for you. Well, likewise, I have another sponsor here. <laughs> They're called LDBDuel.com, and they make deck boxes, guys. You can put whatever you want on a deck box. They make custom deck boxes. Yes, custom deck boxes. They also make pre-designed deck boxes, just like MetaMats had. They make custom mats, or you can, you know, pick one of their pre-designed mats. LDB Duel has actually mailed me and sent me some really cool freebies already in the past and um, that's already been in a video and they liked that video so much um, Even though I made fun of their name in that video <laughs> But they liked that video so much that they actually decided to send me more deck boxes um, So before I open those I was actually going to show you uh, these deck boxes the older design. They're really sturdy deck boxes I, I use them. They're, they're, they're great I, I like them just fine, dude. They, they button perfectly like every time, you know, they're magnetic. And because these are so good, I'm really excited to see what he did with mine because mine are super custom and have my logos and stuff all over them. Oh, spoiler alert, <laughs> spoiler alert, like hard spoiler alert. Oh my gosh, he taped these. And, and that's, like, that's another thing about LDBDuel.com, guys. They use plenty of tape. Good for you, bad for me. <laughs> just a heads up guys, one of these deck boxes is a mistake. I told him to just send it anyways. Um, so I just have an extra deck box and stuff. Do not let that uh, scare you away from his work because he does great work. All right. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, dude. I don't know which one, which one the mistake is yet. Dude, I don't see. I don't. S Man, am I crazy? Is one a mistake? 
I see how this is like a little different, but that's just the wrap. I don't know, man. So let's put it this way, guys. Uh, their stuff's so high quality that he sent me, he even told me he was sending me a mistake and uh, I, I can't find it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So then here's the inside, is the magnets. And let's just pick one of these. I really don't know which, where the mistakes at, guys. Here's this little card insert. An ancient Egyptian pharaoh whose soul is sealed within a mystic artifact released him to become his avatar and gain powers over buried spirits of the departed. And his name is Pharaoh Chippo, an ancient puff. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, that's a pretty cool little, you can use this as like a token or field center, you know, that's cool when companies, uh, companies do that. Just for extra, you know, freebies, you know, extra cool things. Plus, you know, you never know when that stuff's gonna be collectible. You know, people collect uh, old product like this. Like, you want, and then they want all original stuff. I wonder if this could hold another, yeah, it can. I'm gonna put that box inside of another box and then mail this box to myself. And then when it arrives, I'm not gonna smash it with a hammer because this is pretty dope. <laughs> now this is really cool, man. You can like fit a whole deck box plus more in this. Lots and lots of room here. It sticks out that way, yeah. I'd probably do it like this though, just to make it easier to get out, me personally. Oh, but it doesn't fit this way. Ah, it fits this way. Okay, so I guess that would be like my complaint, is that just to make it a little easier to get out. And I guess it shuts this way too, just kind of a little harsher. But yeah, just to make it easier to pull out, I would do that. Yeah, that would be my only complaint. Just make it a little easier to pull out. But I guess it's meant to be stood up like this though. Yeah, this is really sick. So like see, maybe the, maybe the mistakes on the inside of the other. Oh, it opens both ways. Oh, I'm just now noticing this, guys. <gasps> Whoa, what? It doesn't matter, so, so this doesn't matter. Because it opens, but whoa! I didn't know that they did that! All right! Dude, that's sick! And it just pops right, yeah! Dude, this is soft too. Dude, this is so great! Guys! Guys! It wasn't until I grabbed the other one just now that I noticed it opened both ways! And I still don't know where, where, where the mistake is. Yeah, I think the mistake is just the centering right here. But they both look fine. Where's the busted one? Guys, I cannot find... I cannot find where the mistake is at. The, the images are great, they pop just fine. Uh, the patterns behind their heads turned out fine. Are you guys tell me, can you find the mistake? I can't. I, I, I seriously can't. Here's this other... Oh, it's the same guy. I was gonna say, I'll read this, but it's the same one. Okay, it's the same one. But, um, I, I don't see a problem. Did, did you lie to me to make yourself look better? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> no, dude. Uh, this, like, dude, Dave's done this to me once before, actually. I actually have a meta mat um, that I've sold before. It was a, uh, was it was a uh, it was a Naruto mat. It was a Naruto mat, and he told me that it was a misprint. And the and I and I ended up selling that mat. And the kid I sold it to, I told him that it was a misprint. And we looked all over it, and he couldn't find it. Neither could I. And I was like, well, it, either either way, I told you. <laughs> I, I told you what I thought. <laughs> But yeah, and that was really funny. That was actually at that same, uh, that actually happened at the same goat tournament that I um, I have a video on. I got second at that goat tournament, won some money at that tur that tournament, and I topped with uh, with my blindly loyal beatdown. Yeah, dude, that was that was a fun tournament. That was a fun time. I love Texas tournaments, man. And I love this deck box. I love how this just dismantles like this. Now I'm kind of sketched out that I'm like mixing and matching these parts when like one of them's like one of them's messed up and I'm just not noticing, but I can't find it. I, I cannot find it. Dude, you did a great job. LDB duel, guys. So now I guess let's just pick one and do some little tests or whatever. That just stays up like a little tent and everything. So this just holds here's some random dice and stuff. So all kinds of random dice. With like plenty of room to spare actually looks like it you can double stack yeah 
You can double stack dice with ease. Dude! There's so much room in this drawer. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm actually, and I've already shown how you could fit a whole full box in here. Plus, I mean, plus, I mean, whatever else you want to fit in here. That is, that is nutty. There's so much room there. This whole thing just comes apart. I like that. I like that a lot. And let's actually compare that side by side with a ultimate guard. This is an ultimate guard that a fan sent me. This is my main deck box that I've used for a long time. Um, a fan sent me this a long time ago, you know, in fan mail, and I've, and I've used it ever since. And let's just compare. So uh, the ultimate guard's a little taller. This one's a little more compact. They are... They're, they're the same width, dude. Like, they're exactly, exactly the same. If you guys can see that, like, exactly the same. And then let's see the inside. So, this comes apart where you just, you just have this whole thing. And this has, there's my Cyber Dragon deck and there's my Goat deck. And then here's the center drawer. And the center drawer is where I keep it's actually where I keep these dice too. So I keep these dice. But yeah, these drawers, let me get all this stuff out of here and see if this drawer is as deep as the LDB dual drawer. And it's not, it's not. The LDB dual drawer is deeper. That's really cool. And I like that because I like to keep all kinds of little totems and, and cool things, you know, extra sleeves in my drawer here. So the more, the more the better, dude. The more the better. I like to keep a coin in here, you know, like to totems, good luck charms, you know, like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh players are all sentimental, right? So we all have our little things we keep or just things we keep, think are cool or whatever. And then practical things like dice or whatever that you actually use in game. Yeah, I'm just playing around with these at this point. I'm just seeing what these can both do. So this can, can't quite fit two deck boxes in there. I was just curious if it could. It doesn't really matter because this is what you're after right here. This quick little thing that slides in and out that holds your cards, holds everything. So the LDB dual box has a deeper drawer. I guess that's what that's what I call this is a drawer box or, you know, a little jewelry box kind of thing. Um, it has a bigger uh, drawer, but it doesn't have two deck holders, but like whatever, you're only using one at a time anyways. It just has one big one though. One big one. So once again, you fit a whole box in here plus plus room, you know, you fit it in here like both ways. Yeah, it'll fit either way. It just fits tighter one way, you know, versus another. But it'll fit in there either way. Matter of fact, let's take this drawer out and drop it in here and see what happens. It doesn't fit. These are incompatible deck boxes. <laughs> but they are kind of compatible. Yeah, you can mix and match a little bit. But yeah, man, these are, it's like comparing apples and oranges, man. Both are good in different ways, man. Both are fantastic in different ways. But man, I really like, I wish that this deck, I do wish that this fit in both ways, you know, because like just then I accidentally went to go put it in this way, you know? So I do wish it kind of went both ways. Kind of like, I mean, but do, do these go anyway? See, these don't go any way either though. These go both ways this way, but they don't go any way. So this is actually a hair better because of that because this will go This will go anyway technically and it will shut going this way It's just it, it'll just shuts a little rougher is all you know There's just a little it just doesn't shut perfectly, but it'll shut this way So that's a little better even you know if you accidentally just you know You're not thinking about it putting your stuff up, you know throwing everything in there One thing the LDB deck boxes have over the ultimate guard deck boxes that is that you can literally do magic with them check this out I'm gonna get this deck box to move Magic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's, it's the magnets. I'm a child and I'm playing with the magnets. I'm trying to figure out which one's better. But I think this one's slightly better. I think that the art on this this one kind of comes over the side a little more. And I think that this is more centered than this one. I think. Yeah. So let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. I mean, that one's. I'm going I'm to use that one too. But just for video purposes and for ceremonial purposes let's make this the new main deck box guys I got everything out a minute ago let's do it all my stuff you guys want to see 
I have Pegasus, I got signed by, you know, the voice actor. I have uh, Mark Thomas, I have this is signed by Chaz. Chaz it up, I, a fan actually got this signed for me. And I have a video about this. And then I have my Duelist Kingdom set. Um, a fan also sent to me, his name is David. We actually still talk. I have my you know, original Duelist Kingdom set, it's kick ass. And then um, my fans have also sent me like some really cool tokens. The God cards, and I mean, I, I have more really cool tokens. I have tons of really cool tokens my fans have made, but these are my favorite ones the God cards and um, Blue Eyes Ultimate. Not to mention, these turned out like the crispest, too, on top of being my favorites because like, these are just so OG, you know? But yeah, let's go ahead and put these in here. <gasps> oh no! I found a problem with it! That would be my only complaint then! You can't, oh, man, I was about to ceremoniously like be like, this is my new deck box. And it is, because I mean, this, yeah, this is, my, this is my deck, both of them, they're mine now, but like, but like seriously, you can't, you can fit more dice in here, but you can't fit cards in here. But that's okay though, because you have more room to fit the cards in this. So like technically you can just do this, you know, or whatever, ta-da. Yeah, just do that. Just put them in, yeah. Drop them in like that. I always like the empty sleeves. Yeah, it's a little less convenient if you want to, ha want to have like empty sleeves in here, but not everybody carries around empty sleeves like this like I do. So for now, we'll put the dice in here. We'll put the coin in here. But let's take the Cyber Dragons. Put them in that. Yeah. And kaboom. <laughs> it's just, yeah, I like it. I like it just fine. I'm actually doing it wrong because it's supposed to stand up like a tower like this. So my full review is this is my new deck box. Um, I love it. The designs turned out great. I think that the hieroglyphics back here, um, I don't know how well they're going to show up on camera, but I think they showed up really well despite being how dark they are. So that's a plus. I was hoping that those would show, and they do. They do show. Yeah, once again, I don't know how well that's gonna show on camera, but there are hieroglyphics in the background of this, so I love, I love that. The images turned out great. You know, like I said, the patterns behind their heads, you know, the colors on, on the, uh, the, uh, the anime are, you know, the anime characters, they did great. It's a little more compact of a box. On the side, they're like the same height. You know, this way, they're like the same. Like I, like I showed earlier, this way, they're the same. This is a little taller. This holds, they really hold the same amount of, they really hold the same amount of stuff just in different ways, truly. They, they really do. It's just, it's just how the room is divided. You know, this is this has more compartments. This has a smaller drawer. Oh, I didn't put that back. Anyways, <laughs> more compartments. <laughs> it's a smaller drawer. That's, that's the trade-off is the smaller drawer, um, smaller drawer depth-wise, bigger drawer depth-wise, smaller deck holding but two of them bigger deck holding one giant compartment both close perfectly every time you know just blip blip you know just it's magnetic i mean same thing with this one but the bonus is this comes off completely just completely I like that, that this just disassembles and reassembles. And it it's it, and it stays together too. Like you actually have to like pull it apart to get it apart. Like I'm actually like putting my fingernails underneath there and getting it off there, you know? You, it's, you can't do it on accident, which is why I was doing this a minute ago to see if I could like accidentally, you know, like flip this out. And I guess you can't if you like really try, you know? But the magnets on it are good, you know? And that's not, and that's just that one. Like, how is this one? Like, let's, let's do some quality control here. Like, you have to really fucking like get your fingernails under there and try. Cause if you're just like doing this, you know what I mean? Like, you have to, I'm like actually trying to do it. So the magnets are really good. I mean, to compare. Same thing with this one, you know what I mean? You have to try, and then it, it, same thing, you know what I mean? You have to really, really, really be trying at it to get it to pop open because it's doing its job well. So, both of these deck boxes, fantastic. Gotta give the edge to my boys at LDB Duel, not just because of my own personal bias, but because 
you can put whatever you want on these. I don't know if Ultima Guard does that. Maybe they do do that now. I don't know. I'll keep up with that stuff. But what I do know is that if you go to ldbduel.com, and if you enter in the code Yugi Jesus, you get money off. <laughs> but if you go to ldbduel.com, you basically get an Ultimate Guard. Maybe even a better Ultimate Guard, depending on your opinion. I think these are both great, but my opinion is going to lean more in this way, you know, this direction, obviously, because it's custom. You can get whatever you want on these guys. And that's my point. That's what I was building to. You can put whatever you want on these, so that's the edge over Ultimate Guard. Unless Ultimate, I mean, if Ultimate Guard does that now, then uh, LDB's got, you know, they, they have to, they, they're just, they're just going to have to keep, you know, up in their game and up in their game. But, like, uh, it looks like, phew, shit, this is, this is it. These deck boxes are definitely an upgrade from the old LDB deck boxes, not only because they're customizable, you know, with the art, but because they're bigger, more spacious. Um, the only, the only downfall is uh, the old deck boxes you could clip onto your belt like you're in the show. And I, I don't think I explained that in the last video I did on these. Like, I don't think, I think I forgot to. Like, this back part back here, this extra snap, is so that you can, like, put it on your on your side and like pull your deck out like you're in the show. So yeah, on LDB Duel, if, you know, this is more of your preference to have it on your belt. You could also do that, but yeah, I think th I think this is it, man. We're hitting the end of this video, guys, and I know we're hitting the end of this video because I cannot find any other ways to compare these deck boxes. I've already I've already shown everything. I've already shown the size differences. I've already shown my my really my only complaint is that um, these deck boxes and the drawers don't hold um, my extra cards, but that's just extra stuff, and I can store them you know different ways. So therefore, it's really only a minor difference. And um, if you want to hold more dice, you know, which most people do, like most people I see like in Yu-Gi-Oh terms roll around with a lot more dice than I do. Do I roll? Around with like one set of dice and that's it uh, if you want to hold more dice these will hold more dice in that drawer <laughs> like a lot more um you just can't put cards in that drawer and that's my that's my only complaint that's literally my only complaint everything else turned out great the designs turned out great um this fabric's great i didn't expect this to just come off there was even an unexpected surprise with that i didn't know that i just thought that they opened like this and they don't they open like this. So it's safe to say that these deck boxes passed my expectations. They just had that one that one problem, which I knew at least one of these were gonna have a problem because one of these, once again, was supposed to be a misprint. I still don't know which one it is, but one of them is supposed to be a misprint. So I knew, I knew going into this that, that there was gonna be at least one hiccup. So I guess the pickup's not the misprint, the hiccup's just that I can't put my my Pegasus cards, you know, in my Duelist Kingdom set, in my little drawer, and that's 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 literally it, and that, and that doesn't matter. So I have no complaints. These turned out great. LDBDuel.com. Thank you guys so much. Not just not not just you guys watching. Thank LDBDuel. I'm thinking LDBDuel.com for sending me these. These are awesome. But thank you guys also so much for watching. And um, seriously. Um, what you see is what you get here. If you guys, uh, if, I mean, uh, obviously, you sent me two of them even. So I even did, even was able to do some quality control, some unexpected uh, quality control here. So if you guys want a good deck box and uh, if you want it to have anything you want on it, ldbduel.com. That's it. That's my whole video. Bye. Subscribe. <laughs>